What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again on a Friday, and it's the first Friday in fall because it's the first day of fall. And what does that mean? It's getting a little bit colder outside, right? So it's time for a frozen Friday. What do I have in the freezer for you? Find out next on Pizza Night. Never fear, pizza night is here, so grab yourself a can of beer for the first night of fall, September 22nd, 2017, and today I'm back for a Frozen Friday with an old friend, that's right, Dr. Oetker, or Erker, depending on who you talk to, and his Virtuoso line of pizzas. Last time I tried their Especial Restaurante version, and I wasn't that impressed. This time I got Virtuoso, which is their classic crust pizza. And of course I got pepperoni, because pepperoni goes on every pizza, right guys? Well, this is a savory slices of pepperoni and 100% real mozzarella and Emin Taylor cheeses, all layered on top of our signature sauce. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Well, how do they want us to heat this bad boy up? Let's take a look. They want us to go ahead and preheat the oven to 415. Got that done. And they want us to keep it frozen, take it out of the box, take it out of the cellophane, then put it into the oven directly on the center rack for 14 to 15 minutes until done. So I'm going to do that and I might even hang it out in the uh, broiler for a little bit as well. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and show it to you in its frozen state. All right, let's take a look at it in its frozen state and take a look at those big pepperonis. They're big, but they are pale. They almost look like bologna to me. Lots of cheese underneath there. Decent looking crust action, fairly thick, not all thin and crackery looking, so that's a good thing. I think this is gonna be a good pizza this time around, but we'll find out right after this on Pizza Night. Before we continue, I would be remiss if I did not mention the passing of Bobby the Brain Heenan. He will be missed anyway. Back to check out this Virtuoso pizza by Dr. Oker, or Erker, again, I don't know which one it is, because I've heard it both ways. This came out pretty good, I would say. Uh, basically, what I did is I did not uh, follow the directions exactly. I put it in for seven minutes, turned it about halfway, went for five minutes, and then put it in the broiler on high for about a minute. And this is what we got. We're just starting to get some curling on the pepperonis we've got some browning on the outside of the pie over there where the cheeses are starting to caramelize a little bit and then in the middle the cheese looks ooey gooey and tasty let me go ahead and see if i can't get you a peek of the underside there we go and yeah that looks pretty darn well done all right, guys, let's get a 420 slice cut out of this thing so I can show it to All you. All right, that 420 slice is looking pretty good. This is a nice, thick crust. Doesn't have a lot of floppiness to it, but it looks like it might, might be nice and airy there on the inside while still fairly crisp on the outside. You know, pretty good amount of pepperoni per slice. I only cut this into four slices because it's a relatively small pie. And at $4.49, I mean, you know, this isn't exactly the best deal in town, but it smells pretty good, and I bet you it tastes good, too. All right, guys, I'll be right back right after this to put this in my mouth and let you know what I think about it on this week's Pizza Night. All right, gang, I am back. This Dr. Erker or Oker, you please tell me down below which one it really is, is out of the oven. Like I told you, I did it my way, got it into that broiler just for a little bit so we can sort of curl up those ronies just a tad and ladies and gentlemen it smells really really good it looks kind of puffy but a little more crispy than i expected but hey that generally happens with frozen pizzas right all right let me go ahead and pick up this bad boy right here show it to you next to my noggin the way i always do it's a nice quarter of this small pizza so basically about a buck for one slice here at 449 for the whole pie and ladies and gentlemen it looks good it smells good I'm kind of worried about those pepperoni because they were very, very pale to start off with, so I'm not sure how well seasoned they are. But let me go ahead and take a bite and I'll let you know. Overall, I would say that this pizza, you know, even though it's got a European influence, so to speak, is sort of all American in its overall presentation because it's kind of bland. Um, not a lot of zest going on to it, a very mild flavor overall. Let's build it 
from the bottom to the top the way we always do. That crust is pretty tasty. Better than some frozen pizzas that I've had. A little better than what I would say are some of the better ones like your DiGiorno, like your, um, you know, uh, what is it, Sicilian Screamer, things like that. A little bit better than that. Um, the sauce is okay, but again, not a lot of zest going on there. You've got some tones of sweetness, but mostly savory, and a pretty decent tomato flavor for what is a good layer of sauce. It's not over sauce, it's not under sauce, it's a pretty good overall serving of sauce. The cheese, I think, is the star of this show. You have that blend of mozzarella and that other long one that I couldn't say what was eminental or something like that. I've never heard of that before. And if I have, I forgot all about it. But anyway, it's got a good flavor to it. Sort of a slightly smoky yet mild flavor. Um, then you have the tones of mozzarella and then a slight undertone of funkiness underneath that I like quite a bit. Uh, so the cheese, yeah, the cheese is the star. The pepperoni, which I was worried about, I was worried about for a reason because there's not a lot going on there. It's not zesty, there's no spice to it, it's not all that flavorful, and the texture is different than a lot of other pepperonis. Perhaps it's uncured, I don't really know, but it's not my favorite pepperoni that I've ever had, and that's going to drag down the score a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this bad boy, for being a bit expensive, for the pepperoni being lackluster, but with the pros of good crust, good sauce, and good cheese, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a two-thirds thumbs up. From the freezer aisle today on Pizza Night. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm enjoying myself right now as we speak at Nova Pro Wrestling Nova Project 3. If you're in the Nova area, you should be down here as well. Thank God for Nova Pro Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Also, make sure you comment down below. Uh, while you're down there, click on the uh, link that gets you to the SAS group on Facebook with hundreds of the coolest people in the world in our group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Brandon Reich SAS. When you do that, make sure you use the hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way I know what you're eating, and you know what I'm eating too. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.